The recent Bleach live action movie released recently on Netflix was not very good. In fact, if you look back at past live action anime adaptations, none of them have been very good, with likes of Dragon Ball Evolution, the Full Metal Alchemist movie, and Death Note being horrible. You can even look back to the Avatar The Last Airbender live action movie to see these types of movies are nothing but a colossal failure 90% of the time. Compare that to any of the comic book movies released by Marvel since 2008's Iron Man. Even the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies that are considered a flop, like Thor The Dark World, are better than most of the movies I've mentioned. And almost all of them are either an adaptation or based on some sort of comic. And at the end of the day, with the exception of Avatar The Last Airbender and Death Note, all the movies I mentioned were originally based on a manga. And at the end of the day, while the way the stories are produced and the medium is vastly different, manga are on a technical level comic books. So what's different? Why are the comic book movies, especially the ones produced by Marvel Entertainment, so much better than any of the anime live action adaptations that have been made in the past few years? Well, the first and biggest hurdle is that these movies are typically not made with anywhere near the same budget. None of these movies have Disney or Warner Brothers money backing them as Marvel and DC Comics do. So they're obviously going to be a little bit behind these comic book movies in terms of CGI and special effects and even the actors they can afford. But that wouldn't be a problem if the movie was good. Good CGI and good special effects don't make a movie good. No, what makes the movie good is the writing and the direction. And I honestly think the biggest problem with a lot of these movies is that they are trying to adapt the entirety of the source material. For an example, based off of a recent live action movie, the Bleach live action movie attempted to condense the entirety of the substitute Soul Reaper or substitute Shinigami arc into a single movie. It resulted in a pretty rough story that had no time to either develop its side characters or the relationship between its characters. In the manga, the substitute Soul Reaper arc runs from chapter 1 to around chapter 53. That is far too much material to adapt into a movie, and when you try to do it, a lot of things and characters end up getting thrown to the side because that story is not written to be told in movie form. There are a lot of moments in the Full Metal Alchemist movie that are literally a page-by-page -page adaptation of events that happened in the manga. When you're adapting something of that magnitude, you just can't adapt the whole thing because the original source material was not written to be a movie, but to be a long-form story. Something consumed more and more week after week for years at a time. Captain America Civil War is almost nothing like the original comic. The Civil War comic relies heavily on tie-ins and other characters' individual runs to tell you what those characters were doing during the events of Civil War and also features far more characters than the movie could ever imagine having. It's also riding on the backbone of decades of comic book history with hundreds of different characters and it was a massive event with the final battle filling almost all of New York City with different characters fighting each other. This is opposed to Captain America Civil War which was working with about 8 years of history and not even 45 characters involved in the war as opposed to the comic which had hundreds of characters involved. The Russo brothers, who directed Captain America Civil War, took the concept of an inciting incident triggering the public to create a superhuman registration app and superheroes fighting each other over said registration app and created their own story around it. They also used the film to introduce Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, as opposed to the comic where Spider-Man had been around and been an active member of the superhero community since he was 15. Then you look at something like Dragon Ball Evolution, which just took two story arcs, the Hunt for the Dragon Ball arc and the Piccolo Daimao arc, and just put them together and created some mess of a story. Or the FMA live action movie was just like hyper condensed most of the key moments of the manga into a two hour film. I think one of the biggest problems with adapting anime like Full Metal Alchemist or Bleach or even Death Note or Avatar The Last Airbender is that they're all long form stories. They were all originally meant to be told over the course of years on a week by week basis. And it's not like something like Harry Potter where you're just adapting a couple of books. There's way too much content to just do in like four or five movies. What you would need to do to do a movie based on something like Full Metal Alchemist is tell an original story based on the concepts presented in the original story. 
stork material. You would need to rework the idea presented in the stork material into something that would work for a movie. For example, in the original Infinity Gauntlet storyline, which Avengers Infinity War is heavily based on, it is Silver Surfer who crashes into the Sanctum Sanctorum and warns Doctor Strange that Thanos is coming. However, the Russo brothers and Marvel did not have the legal right to use the Silver Surfer as he currently belonged to Fox at the time, so they changed it to Hulk. They took the concept of a character crashing into the Saints and Saint Torum to warn everybody that Thanos was coming, and they changed it to fit the story they wanted to tell. And I don't think long-running weekly series like something like Avatar, Death Note, or Bleach, or Dragon Ball really lend themselves to that style of production. I think you would have a much easier time creating a Code Geass live action movie because Code Geass season 1 is a short 25 episode mecha political drama that would be quite easy to adapt as long as you stuck to just doing season 1 for the first movie. And you know what, if given to the right person I even think you could make a really good Neon Genesis Evangelion live action movie if given to a director that could handle the complex characters. But in terms of the time it would take to adapt to that, yeah, you could break Evangelion down into a two hour or so long story. If you really wanted to, you could even go the Harry Potter route with stuff like Code Geass and Evangelion and just do one movie a year and do a few arcs at a time in each movie if you really wanted to. But honestly, at the end of the day, I think the problem is that they're trying to just straight up adapt these stories like an anime production company would. They're trying to just do the live action version of the Full Metal Alchemist manga or the Death Note manga or the Dragon Ball the anime. And it just doesn't work like that need are directors and writers to understand the characters and universe that they're working with, trying to create something good that also works for the medium of cinema. Because as we've seen, trying to hyper-adapt the entirety of the Fullmetal Alchemist manga or the first arc of Bleach just does not work. Get people who understand these characters, hell, even get the original creators involved if you can, and try to adapt it into something that will work on the big screen while also staying true to the character. That is what Marvel did, that's what DC should be doing, and that's what these movies need to do if they want to succeed. But that's why I think the comic book movies work and the anime live action movies just don't. But tell me what you guys think in the comments section down below. I'm also thinking about starting a vlog channel, so let me know if you think I should do that. Like the video if you enjoyed, and still Subscribe for more anime, manga, and comic book videos. And above all else, guys, have a great day.